The devastation is only getting worse three days after several wildfires ignited in California's wine country. The death toll continues to rise out there, and nearly 4,000 homes and businesses have been destroyed as conditions make the fires grow in number and in danger. Correspondent Claudia Cowan joins us live from Santa Rosa with a look at the ongoing emergency. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening, Brett. Well, some victims returned home today to find they lost everything. In fact, some homes like this one here still smoldering after three days. And as the death toll rises to 21, the size and scope of this disaster are sinking in. The devastation and death toll growing in some of the most destructive and deadliest wildfires in California's history. A bird's eye view of parts of Sonoma County shows entire neighborhoods are completely gone. This is just pure devastation and it's going to take us uh, a while. Uh, to get out and get through and comb through all of this. Jennifer Bronsima and her husband David sorted through the remnants of their home in the hard hit coffee park section of Santa Rosa. While some of their neighbors' homes were spared, theirs was not. People were going every direction, trees were down, it was just covered. It was apocalyptic. It was, it was insane. Lived here 13 years. We don't know what the next move is yet. Among those lost in the fires, 100 year old Charles Peach Rippey and his 98 year old wife, Sarah. The grade school sweethearts recently celebrated their 75th wedding anniversary. Their family took comfort in the fact that they were together until the end. Those of us in the family always would, uh, you know, wonder what would happen uh, if one of them died and the other one was still left. And so they went together. So far this year, 8 million acres have been charred in the West, and that number will grow with new red flag warnings in parts of Northern California. A sharp northern wind known as a Diablo is expected to gust up to 40 miles an hour. We are expecting some extreme fire behavior and growth of our incidents currently, and uh, that is going to lead us to challenges. Also facing challenges, California's $58 billion wine industry. Hard hit Napa and Sonoma are home to 85% of U.S. wines. While the extent of the damage is still unknown, winemakers say they're doing the best they can. We just kept on doing winemaking the old style way without, you know, as much as technology and electricity, of course, as, as we used to. These fires have now scorched more than 170,000 acres. And as the firefight continues, so does the search for a cause. Officials say it probably was not lightning. They say people start most fires, either intentionally or not. Brett. Claudia Cowan, live in Santa Rosa. Claudia, thank you.